Well, we continue to following new developments in a breaking news story we first brought you this morning. A suspect is in the hospital after being shot by a trooper. A second suspect is still on the run. And 2 News reporter Patricia Santos is live in East Tulsa where that shooting happened with the latest on this investigation. With a truck. I heard him tell him uh, 211 come out on the board. Julie Dennings describes a loud early morning scene here at the Executive Inn in East Tulsa. I woke my husband up and then so I got up and I come out here and there is a ruckus everywhere. Tulsa police and Oklahoma Highway Patrol troopers surrounded the hotel in search for this man. The suspect taken out on a gurney after he was shot in the leg by a trooper. The shooting happened right here on 11th Street and I-44 when troopers pulled him over for an expired tag. We know when we when we pull that car over, we don't know who the person is and we don't know what their intentions are. Investigators say the suspect reached for the trooper's weapon. He yelled for his passenger to take an item from inside the van and make a run for it. During the struggle, the trooper felt threatened and shot him. It's when a person does those kind of actions and makes that act where they're going to, they intend to harm you or they intend to kill you. Uh, we're forced, absolutely forced, to use uh, deadly force to defend ourselves. The injured suspect was able to drive off and hide out inside this nearby hotel room. Troopers questioned the women who allowed him inside. They're not sure what their connection is. It seems really odd to me that at two something in the morning you would let somebody in to your room if you didn't know who they were. About six hours later, the scene was cleared. Daylight revealing a bloody hallway and windows. Officers tell us the trooper only sustained minor injury. This was a deadly situation tonight. Uh, he or the suspect could have lost their lives. The identity of the driver has not been released. He was taken to the hospital, though, and troopers are still searching for that second suspect. Now, the trooper involved is on paid administrative leave, a routine protocol after a trooper involved shooting.